All right, you guys, it's the night read for you. I'm going to pull from two decks. Uh, so far, I have the regular tarot and my Monopoly tarot here. But I'm going to pull from the Kipper deck as well. Uh, Pathway came, card number 35, and number 27, the unexpected income. That's what came out. Hold on, I want to try to make sure I can see if this is recorded or not because I got so much stuff going on. So pathway, what path are you on? What path are you taking in regards to the unexpected income? Are you doing something for yourself? Thief is here. Um, thief to me, okay, look at this card. So to me, it depends on what the situation is. I'll go ahead and clarify, but to me, this is a little boy stealing from a rich man. Um, and the lady is there laughing because um, he might be in Ebenezer Scrooge's energy. I hope you know who Ebenezer Scrooge is. If not, the Scrooge McDuck energy, ego, you know, the ego type energy. So he's stealing, but is he really stealing? You know, uh, and look what he's stealing, the time. He's stealing a, a watch. He's trying to steal his watch. Does that make sense? So something in regards to this card, and I, I looked at this card before, and that's what I noticed. You know, she's like happy. She could be the town... I don't know. Back in the day, they had like brothels. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that she could have been someone. Uh, to me, she looks like the privileged lady um, that's in this card deck. But um, if you look at the little boy is stealing from him and he uh, looked like he can be a chimney sweeper. He's not stealing to gain anything from this. He might be trying to pawn that gold watch, but he's taking time. Does that make sense? Because this guy is wasting people's time, people's time, right? So the pathway and the unexpected income to me with this card coming out for, for me, and this is just me uh, telling you, sorry, my nails, I'm going to go get them done in the next couple of days. Um, to me, what it says is this unexpected income is coming because someone stole your time and in turn made you feel like crap because they had more than you. I don't know. Or they made you feel less than. So um, that's kind of how I see this unexpected income because instead of you you know, saying uh, harsh things, you decided to work on yourself. You know, you decided to work on uh, the path that you were going to take in order to show, you know, be in the, I can show you better than I can tell you, but then there's messages coming. So we're going to go ahead and use the regular. Hmm. We're going to go ahead and use the regular to roll. And then I'll go ahead and clarify with the Monopoly deck. I wanted to use my nice deck, uh, this pretty deck. But, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and use the regular tarot to see where it is. Oh, I didn't check to see what was at the bottom of the deck. Sorry, bottom of the deck is a gift. So, unexpected income could be the gift of you moving forward. The gift could be the message that's happening, you know. Um, I don't know. Take how it resonates. But that's, does this kind of make sense to you? Yes, in the comments. When I say to you that this boy who could have been the uh, chimney sweeper, you know, the uh, orphans. Okay, so back in the day, the orphans uh, were chimney sweepers. And sometimes, you know, that, that's where the poverty card comes out in this deck. Where is that? In the Kipper deck. But sometimes they used to have to uh, sweep the chimneys when the chimneys were on. Isn't that so cruel? But that's how they earned their wages. That's how they earned their living. Um, but was it a living because they got probably got paid pennies on the dollar? Or, um, you know, I don't know. But anyway, let's figure out what this pathway card is. So again, he, you know, to this man walking with his head held high, you know, and his ego there, you know, not saying that it's right to steal, but he's stolen time from an individual and in turn the lady knows that that could be one of the local women it could be you know someone who's you, she's laughing she's literally laughing let's take a minute to stare at this card she's literally laughing that this little boy is still in his clock because at some point he's like let me move this light at some point he's like um hold on, i'm trying to fix this at some point he she's like that's what he gets though I don't want to say what I was going to say, but that's what she's looking at. Like, that's what he gets. She, he's stealing the clock from him. But would you steal a clock 
and yeah, you can pawn it for gold, but I'm pretty sure it, it's engraved with his name. So what is he stealing? He's stealing time from him. Does that make sense? Because he's stolen time from someone else, and this girl knows that. That lady back there in the back knows that. So it could be from one of her friends or somebody because his ego was so big, you know? This little boy can't do anything with that watch because I'm pretty sure it's engraved. And they'll know that he took it unless it's one of those dirty pawn people, you know. But at some point, he's like, I'm going to pay you back. You hurt Mrs. Such and Such. So I'm going to take your watch who you walk around with it and your cane and, and look at the time as if I'm recording. Okay, I have to. I'm actually going to have to edit that. My grandbaby was coming in here screaming. And she was having a good time. So anyway... What I was saying is that the thief, he's really, is he stealing from him? Can you steal from somebody who steals time from someone else and energy? And I think that lady knows that in the background, you know? The unexpected income is because in this process of somebody taking your time away and playing games with you, you know, you would think this person had his, his mental life together and also... You know, because his finances look like they're together, right? Look like. Because there's a difference of, I don't know. People think that liabilities means you made it. And that is so not the truth, right? Liabilities. They feel like they made it because they have liabilities. No. Cars. Nice clothes. Shoes. You know chains the latest and greatest but they haven't worked on the foundation because they have no idea what it is to have a foundation and if they do and if they have it some people use that to their betterment and try to make people feel like crap and in turn they still because you're trying to prove to this person well no because i'm working on this and i'm working on that but anything that you work on i don't know what that noise is Oh, that's what it is. My baby has a karaoke machine, my grandbaby. And that's what you hear in the background, so sorry. But um, it has like the bass and stuff and you should hear her screaming in a minute or singing. Um, so anyway, you know, if they think they made it, they turn around and make you feel like this poverty stricken boy, even though you're trying to work on things uh, for yourself to better, you know, to better yourself. And so the message is coming in and it has a gift at the bottom of the deck. I feel like the message is coming in is that you're getting your rewards. You took out time. You changed the path that you were going to. You didn't listen to the negative person spewing out. And now the messages are coming. Could be contracts. Could be messages of love. Could be anything. But I can bet you it had nothing to do with this person. And so at the same time, while this lady here is laughing at the little boy stealing his watch because he thinks this means more to him, he's something such and such the third you know, um, Scrooge Aloysius the third, you know, and my family comes from a long line of people who made it and I'm this, you know, you get what I'm saying? And even if it's not, if he's not a, the third and he's made something of himself, he feels like he or she is God's gift to green earth because they have went down a different path in you and you're working hard while they have been granted money so your unexpected incomes comes with you going down the right pathway right so let's clarify pathway if that makes sense to you let me know yes in the comments all right ace of swords energy this didn't come in reverse but this is having the illuminated mind the reason in mind in order to be able to make decisions clearly it says see clarity in your situation and cl a clear vision is the roadmap to success roadmap pathway right so you know what you got to do in order to get out of this now we're going to clarify this unexpected income um the unexpected income let's turn it over down the line and let's see how the thief comes out what energy comes out to clarify this thief okay so look at that it turned in reverse but i don't think i'm gonna take it in reverse let's see uh we also have the messages sorry this is when my kids are the loudest my youngest is still at football but yeah there you have it messages let's see where the messages is coming from and who's sending a message to you because yeah your rewards first of all oh wait did you see that the cancer card was right there okay just thought i'll let you know 
But guess who's there? The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is here. You know who she is. Bottom of the deck, right? This card came over, which is the message of someone being sad. Probably from this person who thought they were emperor. But you have to, to be an emperor, you have to know how to lead. To, to manage, uh, to be a king or somebody of higher, um, higher, uh, what do you call it? Um, I don't know. Let's just think about Game of Thrones, right? And so with Game of Thrones, um, if you were Jamie Lannister, I don't know. I'm just, just give me a minute with this. If you were Jamie Lannister and you were trying to lead, people would know you for sleeping with your sister well i guess that it never came out but the person the tyrant tyrant that killed anyone uh that killed a lot of people and you know that was cutthroat and things like that i think i would rather if you were to say who this emperor would be and i had to choose between jamie and the little guy i don't know his name and i'm not gonna say okay the brother um what was the brother's name the little short one the one that you know the little guy. Um, anyway, I would pick him as my emperor. Just saying, you know. Yeah, he's experienced a lot. He's got treated like shit. He knows, you know, what it's like to be with women. He's alcoholic. He messed up. He did this, but he sat aside and he didn't care and didn't give up because he looked different or he was different. I would choose him to be the emperor if I had to make a choice. No, I wouldn't even choose this this guy who feels like he's got get the green earth you know because turning around and let's just say the messages of sadness is coming someone who had the insight and the knowledge uh with the five of cups energy you know but it's also sad because that could be that person sending that message right but like like i said before the queen of pentacles is here and the emperor is here so this could be messages of love from someone yeah look at this communication at the bottom of the deck there's ending. You ended this with that person. Oh, there it is, the chariot trying to come out. But you had to go through hermit mode in order for you to manifest with the magician. Can you see that right there? Can you see all that? And then in turn, the king of swords is here. You know, when faced with a difficult situation, be impartial and carefully evaluate all your options with a rational mind. Options. This is um, with the three of swords energy. This is uh, solutions. This is difficulties. And this is being indecisive. So any way it goes, you evaluated everything. And this is what it ended up being is heartbreak, right? So let's just go ahead and I'll put this here. This is at, um, that came out and I'll hold that there. So the messages, this is all the messages that they have. And again, let me go ahead with the gift. Like I said, at the bottom of the deck was the queen of pentacles. Finally, the gift is going to come back to you. Finally, all your hard work of you nurturing a situation, of being there for a person and a place or thing and situations, friends, family, uh, loved ones, you know, you being there, there's going to be a gift that goes towards you. So the unexpected income is turned over. Let's see if I can turn this over. Ah, direction, two of swords, going in a different direction, travel. Um, I'm sorry, two of swords, two of wands. You know, the two of wands is uh, plans, travel, and new ideas. So that's where the unexpected income will come. You've probably taken the chance to travel to a distant city or travel in regards to income or travel or make uh, have new ideas on the way that you're going to receive your income. So you found the pathway that you wanted to go through uh, by going um, and having a clear mind. Remember, seek clarity in your situation. A clear vision is the roadmap to success, and that's what you did. And in turn, the unexpected income comes with the two of uh, wands energy. Sorry, the world is here, looking out, making future plans, you know, uh, to do something. And that's how the unexpected income will come out, right, or come through. Then we have the world card, clarifying the thief. This is completion. You're done with this situation. They didn't steal from this person. This person stole from you. So there's a completion. There's a change of place again. This is a change of place. This is going down the pathway. So any way it goes, it seems to me like you chose to move forward or move to a different location or move ahead. Well, forward and ahead is the same or move away, shall I say, meaning out of this person's uh 
uh, out of the close proximity of this person so that they can no longer control you because you felt trapped. Does that make sense? You felt trapped with the eight of swords energy. You know, you overthought, overthought, you, you were overthinking and you were self, you were criticizing yourself when it came to you feeling trapped because this person stole your heart. They stole your time and they stole all your energy and in turn made you feel like there was nothing else to do. But again, with the seven of swords energy, and this is swords energy. So all of these to clarify so far, besides the wands and the cups, swords is air and water right here so far. The wand is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, but so far, there are swords here. There is uh, the ace of swords is right here. You have the world. What is the world card? Um, Saturn. Okay. Not an actual sign. Don't know which one it is. But anyway, the world card is here. And then we have the seven of swords. Like I said, the seven of, one, uh, the seven of swords is having the king and intellectual mind to make sure that, you know, and see what, what is betraying you or what is sneaky around you, but being insecure at that same time. So that trap feeling, feeling like somebody has stole your time from you has caused you sadness. And that's where the message is coming in at. And yes, I'm going to take all of these. Oh boy, they're in reverse. How did I flip these over? I don't know how I flipped this over. My card deck is not in reverse. No, they're not in reverse. But anyway, all right, this card came out in the upright, but this one is the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse is recovery, hardship, and crisis. So that's where the message is. You're just like, you know what? I don't care if you're sad because I had to recover. There was a hardship for me. There was crisis. I had to figure out how to do something. And the moon energy uh, being in reverse, um, I guess this is how it came out. Um, but the moon energy being in reverse is like darkness and fears and insecurities. Again, insecurities uh, a couple of times. You had to go through and figure out where if this was reality because you were so insecure when it came to the um eight of swords energy you know this person stole from you they stole your they stole your spirit they stole your spunk they stole everything when it came to how you were in the in the beginning sorry to cut my lights on they stole that and in turn your ten of pentacles uh became money problems and miscommunication and lack of stability and so that's where the message is you're sending this message you're in queen of swords energy to me but then we have the tower in reverse and the tower in reverse is um you know, um, a collapse or a stormy uh, time. So you had to go through these stormy times in order for you to get out of this situation. So this unexpected income, it is a gift to you, for you because you had to be in Queen of Pentacles. You were in Queen of Pentacles energy when it came to you exp uh, receiving all of these different, you know, this heartbreak and this, uh, um, these feelings from this person and then we have the nine of wands in reverse right so the nine of wands in reverse is you know dealing with somebody that's closed-minded and that you you know reluctant and didn't understand who you were as a person you know you were you were very resistant to in order to walk away or to listen no in order to walk away from this person and in turn the sun energy in reverse is here so I'm thinking that all of these fell up, um, fell the right way. I picked them up the wrong way. I'm not sure, but the sun in reverse is negativity, air, negativity, air, negativity. I, I'm saying like I'm saying negativity. D. I don't know why I felt like that, but anyway, the sun in reverse is. Uh, dealing with somebody that's arrogant, that's careless, and that's very negative, you know, so they might have all that money, but they, they sure knew how to make your confidence fall to the floor, you know, when it came to them, and the Ace of Cups in reverse, this is, um, you know, missed opportunities, this is a, a creative block, this is emotional, uh, emotional loss, because you had to find a new direction to go into and see something different, hold on one second, you guys. Sorry, you guys, it's bedtime. So anyway, I guess where I left off at is that the Ace of Cups in reverse, right? So with the Ace of Cups in reverse, it's missed opportunities, it's blocked creativity, and it's emotional loss. So you experienced all of these different things from this person, this guy. I'm going to clarify this thief guy with my other deck, uh, with one of my other decks, if I can find. Mm, I'll be able to uh, clarify, but we're going to clarify this thief card because this is this is this person's this is this person's energy. This is what they did to you, and this is how you felt, and you were too 
ashamed to say what it was. So what you did was you acted as if nothing was wrong and you went down a new path. You didn't tell people what you were going through because you're still in the Queen of Pentacles energy. People are coming to you. People are coming to you to get advice. People are coming to you to get the gift of um, of, of um, healing. And while you are healing everyone else, you're not healing yourself. So you had to face this energy and, and try to find new ways to reinvent yourself. And so that's where this unexpected income is coming and the messages are coming because somebody, somebody, a person, place, or thing, or situation knew the energy that you uh, were going through and you they knew that you went into a new direction in order to heal from this thief, you know? Well, not the thief, from this this Ebenezer Scrooge type energy, right? Because he was he was he was more toxic to you than anything that you've ever dealt with. But yet and still, Queen of Queen of Pentacles energy, you kept dealing with it because you felt like, you know, well, maybe if I get myself together here, then 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 this person will change. You know, this person will, will change the way they feel, uh the feel or where they see me. So you went to a new direction and you tried to do it with them, but then you realized that, you know what? Hold on. I can't say what I'm trying to do, how I'm trying to complete and change my cycle, change of place. I can't, I can't say that because every time I open my mouth with the uh, eight of swords, um, I start overthinking and then I start criticizing myself on top of hearing this person criticize me. And in turn, I feel trapped. Like I'm always going to be in the situation that I'm in. You know, I have the keen sense of mind and the ability and uh, to know that I can do better than this, but it's the way this person makes me feel is very insecure. Does that make sense? So now let's finish the Ace of Cups. We already went over, but we have the five. How many fives are out here? Hmm. I thought I seen more than one five. But anyway, we have the five of wands in reverse. Okay. And so the five of wands in reverse is like um, a bitter competition, you know, like this, you know, and sick ambition or untrustworthy, regardless on whatever you did, this person was bitter, you know, um, the ambition, you know, it was like a sick ambition. Like, yeah, you're, I don't know if I'm saying that right, not sick ambition, but it was like, you know, you're always going to be less than, you know, five of wands in the upright is competition or strength and conflict. This here is one of these card decks. I think it's here. Um, I'm going to try to find the five of wands while we're talking. But the five of wands in reverse is, um, it, did, it says bitter competition or it says um, sick ambition or untrustworthiness. Now, what it means to me is that no matter how good you did that day, I'm going to look in this deck. No matter how good you did this day, you turned around and um, five of wands. You still were in conflict with everyone. You still couldn't do right in no one's eyes. You know, look at this. This reminds me of um, Harry Potter with Hermione. You know, this reminds me of the Harry Potter movie. And everybody is saying, it's when God in Leviosa. You know, and, and they were like, yeah, she's a prude. She thinks she knows better than us, you know? So any way it goes, it's always like undermined it. Uh, is it compliments? How do they say it? Undermining compliments or, or you know, like uh, any way it goes, no matter how much you achieve, achieve you're still going to be, you know, you're still going to be this, this little boy. You know what? As I talk to you and I say that, this little boy is a representation of you, it seems like. This little boy... Oh, sorry. Uh, she's laughing. This little boy is a representation of you. You're taking your time back. What is it? The little the ladies say, reclaiming my time. Damn it! I didn't even know. I didn't even think about that. That's what. That's what it. Um. That's what it reminded me of when I when I picked this up, you know, and I said it was, you know, like, yeah, reclaiming my time. I don't know her. I forget her name, but reclaiming my time. I think this represents you. This, this little boy represents you and the lady is like, so maybe, oh, that makes sense. So maybe this is you, Ron Weasley and Hermione and, or say like you and Hermione or you and Harry Potter. I don't know. And, um, tell me yes in the comments. Yes. Yes. You understand if you see what I'm talking about. And remember when they put that, they took that potion to cloak themselves. This person is you here. This little boy is you wait right here. This little boy is you 
stealing that watch that you know means everything to this person. You're not literally stealing. I'm not saying it like that. But I'm saying you're reclaiming your time. Damn it. That was. I'm going to name that this. Reclaiming your time. Reclaiming my time. That's what you're doing. And so in this, all this negative energy here, and it came in the reverse energy, right? So that's just meant for this to come out and your feelings to come out in this read because with the three of cups in reverse, it's feeling distant. There's gossip happening about you. So this person is taking your time and talking crap about you, you know, and this could be overindulgence, but I don't think it necessarily, or it could be. You could have started drinking. You could have started trying to um, do things to, to suppress this, this hurt that you were going through. But guess what? You're reclaiming your time. The nine of swords in reverse, right? The nine of swords in reverse is like hope. Is despair and it's fear of loss. You were fearful of losing this person because at some point down the line, you felt like that this person would change or that this queen of pentacles energy doing whatever it takes. Look at that. I didn't even pay attention to that being the chariot out here. You see that? Doing what it reclaiming my time, right? Figuring out which way to go, you know? Figuring out which way to go. But my thing is, is that, you know, what I'm saying is that with the nine of swords in reverse, it's like, fear of loss you didn't want to lose this person because yes they had this going for themselves or yes you saw better or you saw yourself graduating and getting a job where your income would 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 match this person's but because they don't know how to accept someone doing better than them all they came was with undermined comp comp uh Oh, shoot. I can't try to. I'm not going to say it no more because I can't get it out. All they came with was was like um, downing you. All they did was down you, no matter what you did and what you accomplished. So you couldn't come to them and say, oh, I, I got an A on my test today. Yeah, you're in school, but you'll have more loans than you will making money. You get what I'm saying? Like, and that's where the nine of... Um, swords in uh in reverse is you know it's like despair you were sad and so i'm gonna not take this deck i don't want to use this deck i i pick my decks up every other every blue moon and i turn around and i'm like oh there it is i like this deck um and i do like this deck i really do but i'm gonna find another one sorry <clears throat> let me find another one sorry you guys here, no, this is not the one, but I'm looking for the Gregory Scott deck, and I forget the name of this one, but I'm going to go ahead and use this one to clarify this week. Who is this thief? Oh, no, I want that Gregory Scott deck. Let me see. The thief. The thief, the Ten of Swords energy. The thief is somebody who backstabs everybody. The thief is, the thief is somebody who cares only about themselves. You know, um, the thief the thief is someone uh, who always deals with sudden endings. And that is this guy. Not the girl. No, not the thief. Not, not the, I'm thinking of this man. I'm sorry. The man. The man. Not the thief. Not this, um, or again, who feels backstabbed. If the thief, if we're talking about the little boy, you're feeling backstabbed. You know what I mean? Like you're feeling backstabbed. You're feeling like there's always sudden endings and there's failures. But on your part, because you keep being in Queen of Pentacles energy and trying to fix somebody. That's who I think this thief is. But the guy um, dealing with uh, this person, they always have sudden endings too. So this is probably one of your projects that you felt like you can fix this because everybody always says this person is this, this, this person is that. Like, like, um, uh, what is that movie? Um, Fifty Shades of Grey. And if we don't talk about Fifty Shades of Grey, we can talk about, I don't know. Uh, anyway, meaning that this person has these things this one way. And guess what? The girl changed him. And that's what you see when you watch those movies. You have hope that you could be that girl who changed this, this um, narcissistic type guy who does things the way they want them to do, way way they want to do them. So if we look at it from their perspective, they have endings all the time because they end them because they're asses, you know? Uh, they backstab people and uh, they fail to stay in relationships if that's this guy's energy. But if it's your energy with this being this little boy changing into, you know, him from being uh, Hermione, right? 
you you um, are going through the same thing, but in a different man manner. Your endings come because you <laughs> have to end them because somebody is always taken from you. There's always takers. You're always the runner. There's always takers. Failure comes because you fail to set boundaries. You know, backstabbing comes because you give people, everybody, the benefit of the doubt, right? And then we have the justice card. Now here's the justice. This person's or your consequences of your actions are at hand. So that is, you know, uh, what this person is experiencing. So that's probably why the five of swords is here. Um, excuse me, Five of Cups is here at the upright. In the upright, the only card that came in the upright, which is the Five of Cups energy, which is having the insight and the knowledge, but also being sad. So this energy of the Justice card, it says the consequences of your actions are at hand. So, you know, that's that's what that is. But it also says with the Justice card, we are all answerable to, uh, to the universal law. Take responsibility for your actions, do the right thing, and be balanced and fair in all situations. So instead of wishing ill on this person, you're like in the Drake energy, the Knight of Wands energy. You only live once, so be bold, be fearless, and do what you love. It took for you a minute to get out of this energy to stop wishing ill on this person and moving forward because this person caused you a, a, a heap load of pain, a heap load of pain, and you weren't able to express it. You wanted to communicate it, but every time you try to communicate to this emperor guy, which is not the right person, you know, uh, he, they shut you down with the death energy, right? They shut you down. And in turn, you're communicating. You had to go into hermit mode and detach from everything. And then the cancer is like having confidence to move forward. But the knight of swords is all, excuse me, the king of swords is there's no reward without risk. Create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail or lose, you know, or, or have heartbreak, shall I say. And invest your time wisely. You haven't done that. Invest your time. What did I say? Reclaiming your time. So you didn't invest your time wisely, but now you're reclaiming your time. Reclaiming your time. That's the name of this read. This is the late night read. Um, I have to edit a little piece of it, so it might take a minute to come out. Bottom of the deck is the two of cups. It was in reverse, but that's how I had it. My cards are in reverse on this one, but the two of cups is at the bottom of this deck. And the two of cups is love friendship and a connection so the gift could be a connection from someone because they know what you went through and they know what you're going through so i'm going to go ahead and edit this and get it out there i'm just editing my grandbaby on that lat the first part when i said hold on because she was in the bag and she slammed the door but let me let me hear it first if it sounds that bad i might edit if don't you know what we are family now so like share subscribe hit the bell notification so you can be notified when i come on I'm going to start doing little surveys to see. Um, it's hard for me to do cancer versus someone. I will do, if you check back to my old, uh, a couple of reads back, um, where I used the wheel, I spent the wheel in order to see cancer versus someone. I was doing that with my book of answers deck and, and flipping it open to it. I like that method, but I can probably pull a card and say but remember take what resonates leave what doesn't say yes in the comments if you understand red hearts if you made it through purple hearts is if it resonates green hearts if you're working on it remember i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak and bad health and another affirmation from tiktok i don't chase i attract what is for me will simply find me. I love you guys.